See now Charlie is running off to crowd left and he's going to be repositioning on a wing over. He'll be coming in for a roller coaster, everyone's favourite ride. This moment he goes up to approximately 80 degrees nose up on the fulcrum round the pivot and 80 degrees nose down. As you can see the magnificent maneuverability of the Chinook with his tandem rotors. Charlie's going to be repositioning for another wing over to the right to come in for another nose down, correction, nose over 360. We're now going to reposition off to the left and they'll be coming in for a nose down 270 quick stop. This maneuver is used by operational pilots in Afghanistan when a late spot for a medical casualty is needed or we're going late into a PB when coming under fire. Most of us perform this maneuver but not to this preciseness. The aircraft presently weighs about 13 tons, out in Afghanistan will be about 22 tons which means this maneuver can't be performed as easily. On the back of the ramp is Sergeant Andy Caldwell with his large, voluminous orange hands. This is an opportunity for the crewmen to wave to the crowd, so please give them a big wave for the 2014 Chinook display team. Charlie's now moving sideways, as you see, which is an opportunity for us to demonstrate the unique ability of the helicopter to fly sideways. Down at crowd centre, we also have Sergeant Anna Irwin, who is selling display foam hands. So if you want to get down there, you can buy your display foam hands to wave back. himself up into a pedal turn where he's going to spin the aircraft, the tail going around the nose.
complete maneuverability of this tandem rotor aircraft is shown during Charlie's display. He's now going to reposition and come in for a running landing, something that can only be done by the Chinook and other tandem rotor aircraft, landing like a fixed wing. He'll do that after he does his nose over 180. Running is often used when you are down to a limited power or a single engine. The Chinook also has a unique capability. Ladies and gentlemen, we represent the 2014 Chinook display team. About from now, please, big, big, correct, please give a great big wave to Charlie and his team, the Chinook display team. Very well indeed, um, uh, Chris there. I know you've yet to sign off, but uh, congratulations on getting a placing in the uh, Flying Control Committee's awards uh, yesterday for your performance, uh, which was, uh, yes, third place. Yeah, very well done indeed. I think uh, the future bodes well, and I think with uh, perhaps a combination of yourselves and the Apache in the future, we could see some pretty dynamic displays to come. Yeah, of course. It would be great to work with the Apaches. They're probably our closest allies as we work with them closely on operations. Well, it's always been a very popular uh, display indeed, and I know that uh, Paul Farmer and his uh, guys last uh, couple of years really brought uh, the Chinook into the forefront of uh, the uh, best displays we've seen for some years, and uh, continuing that tradition. The two very different Boeing aircraft in juxtaposition there as the Chinook overflies the B-17. Chris, I think that's the last we're going to hear from Chris for today. Uh, brilliant news, and uh, we will, uh, not that we're not going to hear from him, of course, but he's got to uh, rush off now and uh, go and no doubt sign some photographs and meet all the pretty girls here this afternoon. And we're just going to uh, now move along with uh, the departure of the B-17, which has just picked up our owner, Ellie Salingbo. And the good news is, boys and girls, mums and dads, that uh, squad leader Mike Link has arrived. He's red 10, and uh, that's uh, great because I know it's a milestone in the afternoon that you've all been looking forward to.